Today, today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. But I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. Those are the famous words spoken by Lou Gehrig on July 4th, 1939, as he was honored by the Yankees on Lou Gehrig Day. The bad break he was referring to was his battle with a muscle disease now known as ALS. It would take his life a short time later. Today, Lou Gehrig's memory lives on, and research continues for ALS. The Greater New York chapter of the ALS Association recently held its gala. And as always, Lou Gehrig's legacy was remembered. And this year, a special Yankee was among the evening's honorees. Lou Gehrig's name has been attached to the devastating muscle disease that took his life in 1939 at the age of 36. The ALS Association Greater New York Chapter's annual gala has been raising money for disease research for over two decades. So this is the 19th annual Lou Gehrig Sports Awards benefit, and we're here to raise funds for Lou Gehrig's disease, and we hope that we're going to be raising a million dollars tonight. We're, we're close to it. And the, the proceeds from the event go to uh, provide services for over 700 people with ALS that live in our community in the greater New York area. The annual gala brings local sports heroes to the forefront, presenting them with the Lou Gehrig Sports Award. And among this year's honorees was Mariana Rivera. You know, unfortunately, he has this horrible disease that uh, took his life, you know. But uh, what I know about Mr. Gary, I mean, he did play the game the right way, first of all. You know, he gave everything to the organization, played the game with prestige, with uh, dignity, you know. And that's what we have to emulate. Don't matter the times, but the game is the same. And the character of the players should be that kind of character that uh, give everything that they have for the organization and for their fans. Lou Gehrig's number four was the first one to be retired by the Yankees on his day, July 4th, 1939. And Mariano's was the most recent this past September. Two class acts. It's special though, you know what I mean? Being in the same place or in the monument for that, uh, that he is, you know what I mean? And now, uh, I just was put in you know, retiring my number, so I mean, um, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be, to play in the same field that Mr. Luger played with, and, and uh, you know, not only him, but all the rest of the, uh, of the Yankees. Some in attendance reflected on Mariano Rivera, the pitcher, and how deserving he is of the honor. It's something I'm very proud to say, that I was a teammate with Mariano all those years. And I won four World Series rings with him, and partly because of him too at the end of the game so it's a big part of it but Mariano's always been so impressive the way he handles himself off the field too the great community man does a lot of good work for a lot of charities and to see him honored by ALS in the year that he retires really means a lot such a gentleman such class act um, all of us players uh, young and old um, are better for him playing the game the way he's played it so uh, um, congratulations to him and I'm sure there's going to be awards for the rest of his lifetime. That's how he lived his life. I'm a huge Yankee fan, and uh, I pitched a lot of baseball all through college. So to see a guy like him and to throw that one pitch for so long and have such great success, it's an amazing feat. So smooth, that cutter. That cutter that just is not good to hit from a left side. I would love to bat against him one time. I mean, I know I wouldn't hit it, but I just want to see what it's like. Because if the Major League Baseball hitters couldn't hit it, what the heck was that thing doing? Raising funds for ALS is what brought this collection of sports stars together for the evening. It's really cool to have guys come out to raise money to try to find a way to help in any way we can. I got involved when Don Manningly retired after the 95 season. So in 96, I got introduced to the ALS program. And when you hear the stories, uh, about ALS and how devastating it is, it draws you in. And uh, I've been here every year since, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for this opportunity that I have learned so much tonight. You know, being part of the New York Yankees, uh, I know they help tremendously with this cause. And again, thank you. God bless you all. And uh, next time, I wouldn't want to be the last, okay? <laughs> thank you, guys. I love you guys. Thank you.